Whoa, what's this? Are we playing some kind of kung fu game? Some martial arts fighting game, maybe? Ninja battle? Something cool? Nice change of pace from Vietnam, right? Nah, it's another Vietnam game. It's Vietnam War, Ho Chi Minh Trail. <sighs> 2006 release. So I was, I was reading the thread. The reason why I'm behind this is that I was reading the thread and people were posting about, you know, other Vietnam games. Uh, I tried searching out, uh, searching for Vietnam Black Ops. I uh, couldn't come up with anything. I found, I found the sequel. I found the sequels readily available online, uh, which is Vietnam Secret Operations or Secret Assignment or something like that, maybe special stuff, something really generic, it's a really generic name. And those are both Valuesoft releases, Valuesoft being the uh, division of THQ dedicated to Value Software. And I checked, I even checked the website for Valuesoft, they seem to have completely disavowed, just disregarded, written those games out of their catalog for reasons unknown. But uh, we're going to play this game instead, because I found this game uh, found readily available. Okay. I already got all my settings set up here. Let's leave it on 16-bit, why don't we? Because this, these are default settings, I should point out, so, uh, I'm gonna play this game the way it was meant to be played. Uh, I also should mention that this download came with a 100% completion save. So I think a good way to play this is to play the uh, first level, first blood, as apt a name as any, and then skip directly to stage 60, the trail's end. All oh, this music is fucking rocking though, isn't it? Oh, that's it. I'm pumped. I can't hold back any longer. We gotta play this game. And here it is. <laughs> uh, one thing that players may notice right off the bat is they can't actually move. You're just stuck in this one spot. Yeah. Second thing you may notice is that uh, the graphics, not all that hot. And this is, I should point out now, a 2006 release. Yeah. I know, right? Okay. Uh, so we have our guns. This is our M16. You can zoom in with it. And it goes into a single shot mode. Otherwise, it's just full auto. And don't worry about reloading, because you can't. And there's no need to. It's just 500 bullets in the clip. We do get some other weapons, though. We start off with them, too, so it's not like we have to unlock them or anything. Here's our Colt 1911. No iron sights, no zoom in on this one. Whoops. Shit, I accidentally hit the reload button, because just instinctively, you know, I, I reload my guns after a few shots, after I think I've run out of ammo. But in this game, instead of actually loading your gun, it calls in a chopper to bring you some more ammo. So, I'll get out of my way. Nope, out of my way right now. There's no one even in there. Oh, that's the best sound effect for that! That's the giving you ammo sound effect. It's like a magic chime. Oh, God, that's perfect. Okay, so we have some other weapons. We have an RPG. It only works on tanks, doesn't seem to work on enemies too well. Uh, we have a minigun. You know, a chopper minigun, something that would hang out of a, of a helicopter usually. Why they didn't just give you like the M249, like or, or the M60 like most games would? Most games said in Vietnam? Beyond me. Maybe they had this line around, maybe they had this model line around from like a previous game they put out. That's my best guess, I'm gonna go with that I think. I think I'm gonna go with that as my guess. Uh, we have some other abilities too. We can fire mortars. There should be like one enemy left, right? Oh, oh there we are. 
So I'm gonna launch my mortar. That's semi effective. I oh, didn't mean to fire that. Delta one calling Bravo three. I need immediate artillery support over here. Over. Roger, get down and take cover. Well, I'd love to get down and take cover, but I can't because I'm stuck in this one spot and I can't do anything. So, we can call in artillery. Uh, we can call in. Delta one calling for napalm drop. A napalm drop. Roger that, Delta one. Your barbecue is incoming and hot. Beautiful. And that's it. That's everything we can do. Let's just finish this level off then. This comes by from time to time. I don't know if that's an ally, an enemy, or what. It doesn't seem to do much, though. It just flies overhead, makes some noise, and flies away. And then it comes back a bit later to do this. To drop some bombs on me. The thing is, the bombs don't do any damage. So I think what it's supposed to do is there comes a point where if you let enemies get past this point... Mission accomplished. Nice piece of work, soldier. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. Uh, if you let enemy soldiers get past like a certain point, they start knifing you. Because when they're shooting you from afar, they're not actually doing any damage. It's only when they get up close to you that they can actually hurt you. So, uh... So that was the first level of the game. Pretty slow, pretty boring. Uh... You know, this... No, I don't want to exit the game, I just want to... No, no. Well, maybe I'll show a bit of this level, because... I played this level... And... I had a bit of a hard time, because... Look at these guys. Like, read the description, because every level has its own, like, description in the top left corner that just doesn't disappear. Let's kill these guys. Uh, so the description for this level reads, in case you can't read... Recently, the regular patrol units on your side have been overworked, and the enemy infantry in the forest to the north have been giving them problems. Help your countrymen out and get rid of the enemy. So I'm thinking, like, well, look at these guys. If you look at them, they look sort of like they were in, like, army fatigues, right? Why are they shooting at me? I'm thinking, like, are these our countrymen? Are these our allies? Because I see these, the Vietnamese, are clearly labeled. They're wearing the straw hats and everything. But this guy... Look at this. This looks like American GI soldier. At least it does to me. And yet, when you kill them, your score goes up. And they are firing at us. I mean, they are trying to kill us, so... I just don't... I don't get it. I don't get it. I do not get it. So... Maybe they were supposed to... <laughs> originally they were supposed to be on your side, but they didn't know how to program that in, maybe? I don't know. Let's just... Blow our load. Artillery plus napalm. Great. Beautiful. Friendly fire! Friendly fire! <laughs> So, this game looks pretty easy, doesn't it? Looks pretty simple. It is. It is. Up until... Don't tell me it's going to ace the whole game. Okay, good, good. That's what I was afraid of, it, if it is quitting the whole game out and me having to re-record. Uh, so, it's pretty easy up until... Uh, the last level... Are you ready to see the last level? The war has finished, but you aren't home yet. It's the last one waiting for evacuation. Hold out for just ten more minutes, and you'll be airlifted out. Permanently. So, uh... As you can tell, this is the last level of the game, and they don't dick around. Immediately there are tanks that I need to destroy my RPG, and oh god, look at all those dudes. Fuck it, let's call it in right away. Yeah, 
Yeah, uh, you can notice that once they reach a certain point, they become actual 3D models. Fuck you. <laughs> so they just immediately transform from sprites into actual models, and as you can tell, uh, I'm in a bad ways already. <laughs> Switch to minigun. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. This is off to a really bad start. We've still got 8 minutes left. 8 minutes and 37 seconds. Let's take out these tanks. These, these tanks can hurt us, I think. Could be wrong. Ugh. So I'm calling in everything I can, whatever I can. The thing is, if you call in your ammo chopper, when I've tried it in this level before, it just gets shot down almost immediately, so I don't know if I run out of ammo, I guess I'm fucked then, aren't I? There we go, now we have some more time to deal with these dudes before the next tanks show up. I'm gonna try calling the chopper, because I'm already running low on RPG ammo, so uh... So there's no reason to not use uh, the minigun in this level, I guess. It's supposed to be M16, unless you run out of ammo for the minigun, I guess. Yeah, so I guess I do just need to, uh... Oh, no, no. I was gonna say, I guess I don't need to, uh... ...worry about... I guess I can't call the chopper, but I can't! They, these guys are shot down instead. I think I may have just wasted my napalm there. I was expecting to hit it a little bit closer to the enemy as opposed to right there, but okay, whatever. Holy shit. Oh, I think I see some more tanks incoming. Calling some artillery to distract. Man, I need to call that napalm soon too. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Shit. Let me keep this for close encounters. I'm gonna mortar myself. I wanted to drop my mortar in real close, right here. Or I'm gonna call an artillery on me, rather. And mortar. At the same time. Shepard doesn't give a shit about danger close. By the way, I've, I've nicknamed our character Shepard for the purpose of this short playthrough. Oh god, these, these things are back, huh? Do I have time to take him out before I... Nope, I'm getting knifed already, so... God, it just doesn't end! So we're at about half health, right? That's where we're at right now? We're about half health, we about, have about half the level left? So maybe we're not in as bad a spawn as I thought? Oh, who am I kidding? We're so boned. Look at all these dudes! Look at all these fucking dudes! This one-man army is fucking redefining the term. Call of Duty doesn't get this fucking crazy. Oh my god. I'm just gonna keep spinning around, that's the only way to take care of this, right? I'm just gonna let the machine gun roll. Might kind of like a cover button or something. 
Oh my god, I am so fucked, aren't I? Oh Jesus, this is... Well, not much longer left now, huh? I'm gonna die doing what I love, taking out tanks. I'm calling some napalm too. In, the, in an airstrike. Fuck it. Peace out, bitches! Say hi to Ho Chi Minh for me. In hell? thousand dudes! No, I was way more than a thousand. I think I killed a thousand. I think I was like two thousand dudes, maybe. Ugh. It's a whole lot of dudes. I know that much. I I know for a fact that it was fucking hell of dudes. <sighs> okay. So, I haven't beaten this game. And I don't plan to. Uh, okay, that's, that's about all I can take of that game, in fact. Uh, holy shit, right? There's a story to this, too. Uh, when I looked on, uh, the website where I downloaded this from, this game was listed as a, a historical FPS. That's what the description read. On, it, on every site I found it, they kept on calling it a historical FPS, and I'm like, does that mean that it's historical in the history of FPS? Or is it based on, like, historical drama? And when you go to the help menu, it becomes evident that it's trying to be like an edu- like, not like an educational game, but like, you know, they have like descriptions written for every single item in the game. In every enemy. Known as the Vulcan in Vietnam, its electrically timed rotating barrel system grids as blah 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 blah. Fortunately, Special forces are running field tests with it as a one-man weapon, and on this operation, you are armed with it as part of your- Fuck you! No! It doesn't happen! Ho people holding Vulcan miniguns, that's- that's what Vulcan Raven does. And even Snake is like, damn, that dude's carrying around a Vulcan minigun, that's not fucking possible. That's fucking crazy. And it is! It, it's, it's like a video game crazy thing that doesn't happen anywhere else. So stop pretending. Don't write it into your game. Fuck. Yep. Growing up with nothing but war and knowing nothing but hate for the enemy, Vietnamese soldiers fight fearlessly and ceaselessly despite technological inferiority. Is this the militia? Are these the dudes? No, these are not the dudes. I was, I'm trying. I'm going to try to find the American soldier in here. See if they. What looked like the American soldier to me. Nope, it's not in there. So I was totally killing American dudes, wasn't I? Unless they were these dudes, which I don't think they were, because and yeah, they probably were these dudes, but they looked more green from afar, didn't they? Side with me on this thread. Come on. Nope. Hold on. Let's, let's read the story. Let's pad out the length of this. It is the year 1970. The flames of war in Vietnam burn on years after French troops are dealt a crushing defeat. American troops, sent into harsh terrain and dense jungle, find themselves embroiled in guerrilla warfare with a cunning enemy that uses a jungle to its advantage. The Ho Chi Minh Trail, an enemy transport route sneaking through thousands of miles of dense foliage, somehow endures the American saturation bombing campaign, and man and armaments continue to reach southern forces down this vital supply line. You, part of the Special Forces Commando Team with the 101... Sorry. <laughs> with the 101st Airborne, follow orders to go behind enemy lines on a damaged assessment reconnaissance mission. In the confusion of an enemy ambush, you are separated from the group. There, you find yourself in a living hell, encircled and outnumbered by the enemy. The commanders back at the base order you to hold out at all costs and be the last one to evacuate. But you are... <laughs> Not entirely alone. Boys in the artillery brigade and fighter squadrons are right behind you with a devastating ground and air support your temporary holdout needs. UH-1 helicopters swoop in and feed you the ammo you need, so watch their backs, protect this lifeline of yours, and try to stay alive until you can get the hell out of there. Good luck, soldier. 
Beautiful. Give this man a BAFTA. And here are our credits. Kung Fu Studio. I'm, I'm thinking this is their only release because the name of their studio's website is just the name of the game, .net. Okay, sure, whatever. And, and just for one last thing, let's look at the names of these levels. We saw First Blood, it's getting warmed up, bring it on. Ah, mouse scroll doesn't fucking work. I like this. Special Forces, Special My Ass. <laughs> Village people. Thrillin' and killing. Six minutes of hell. I wonder how long that level is. Follow, 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 follow the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Army of One. You! Stealing is a sin. Time to take your medicine. It's sniper time. Point and click. <laughs> Bullets flying. An enemy dying. Traffic cop. Bloodbath? They seek retribution. Hang in there. Jungle justice. Bullet catchers. Morning rush hour. They really love their their traffic puns. Raining on their parade. My rocket's bigger than yours. Down at the parking lot. Shots in the dark. They made a wrong turn. The bird is down. Pucker up and kiss my sweet ass. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> There's like, God, we gotta come up with 60 names for these 60 levels, guys. Oh. Alright. Well, that's it. That's all there is to this game. You've seen two levels, you've seen them all, pretty much. And 500 megabytes, I think I should point out. 500 megabytes of my hard drive that I'm about to get back right now. So... Uh, if you have any more Vietnam games to recommend me that I can play before the thread is over, uh, let's get them out of the way now so I never have to play another Vietnam game ever again. Because Shellshock 2, I, I said I was done with, with uh, Vietnam games after that. And here I am doing this Tunnel Rats LP now. So uh, if you have any other ones to get out of the way, let's do it now. Let's get it over with. It's your boy Haveman, out.